between 1648 and 1715, Europe began to shift from fear and superstition to science and discovery. People stopped waiting for miracles and started asking questions. Kings had laboratories, noble women attended chemistry shows, and scholars in salons played with magnets, microscopes and burning powders. While universities clung to old beliefs, private academies led the way. In Italy, France and England, curious minds gathered in secret rooms to test nature with tools and thought. In France, the Académie des Sciences gained royal support, but its ties to church and monarchy slowed it down. England's Royal Society was different, a humble club of thinkers, rich and poor alike, dedicated to exploring the universe through reason. Inside smoky labs and candlelit chambers, they studied blood, stars, minerals and motion, building the future in silence. Writers mocked them, priests doubted them, but their experiments kept going, steady as gravity. Henry Oldenburg launched the Philosophical Transactions, the first science journal, connecting minds across Europe, from Newton in England to Leeuwenhoek in Holland. Ideas travelled faster than armies. From microscopes in Holland to telescopes in France, scholars shared a single mission – uncover truth. They didn't just change science, they changed the way we see the world.